We're back with another round of championship predictions. It's the weekend again. In midweek, we did very, very well. There were seven games on Tuesday, five on Wednesday, but one was postponed. The Wednesday wasn't so good. One result correct, which was West Brom and QPR drawing. West Brom were lucky to get anything out of it. QPR dominated the game. West Brom handballed one off the line. QPR missed a penalty. There was a lot going on in that game. But thankfully for Blues, West Brom managed to get something out of it just so that QPR stay within touching distance. As for the Tuesday, there were seven games and we got every result correct, which I thought was pretty impressive. Very happy with that. Two of the scores were also right, which was Blackburn drawing one all with Millwall and Hull drawing one all with Blues. I was very frustrated as Hull's opener was a blatant handball. Another poor officiating mistake in a Blues game. Not something that we're going to see the end of. I know there's a big discussion about, or there has been, about would you take VAR in the Championship? I think some teams would say no. As a Blues fan, I would say yes. There haven't been many decisions that have gone for us this season. There's been a lot of mistakes that have gone against us. So VAR would have given us quite a few more points this season. But we kind of have to just move on from it. We got a good result in the end. Away at Hull getting a one-all draw is pretty good going. Let's get into this set of predictions. Sheffield Wednesday face Leeds as our opener and this is a great game as one side are near the bottom of the table, 23rd, the other side are sitting 3rd and they're both in very good form. Now Sheffield Wednesday, they are 23rd, however, 5 wins out of their last 6, 4 wins in a row and all 4 of those wins have been against sides around them. They've beaten Millwall, Bristol City, Rotherham and Plymouth. So four very good wins for them to be getting. Leeds, on the other hand, they beat Stoke in midweek. Before that, they drew, did draw one all away at Huddersfield. Could that be a sign of things to come here? As We all know Leeds are a lot better at home than they are away. They're still very good away, but if they ever do slip up, it tends to be on the road. And with Sheffield Wednesday being in such good form, could they get something? Now I've got a feeling this one could end as a draw, but I think this is more of a hopeful perspective as a Blues fan. Leads to win 2-1. Cardiff take on Ipswich next. Now Cardiff kind of were in that middle of the table, not much to play for, but three wins in a row means they're only seven points off the playoffs. It might be a long shot as a lot of sides above them are in good form, but if they carry on winning, they've got a chance of sneaking somewhere near the playoffs. Ipswich, brilliant form, six wins on the bounce, second in the table, only three points off Leicester. It's all in Ipswich's hands. If they want to go and get promotion, they just need to pick up maximum points and they've guaranteed it. I think they're going to get another win here could be a tight one, Cardiff in good form, but it switched to win 2-1. Blackburn take on Plymouth in a big relegation fight. Now Blackburn, six games under Eustace so far, four draws, two losses, so still looking for that first win. They drew last time out with Millwall, which is a decent point to get. Millwall are in better form, but they need to start winning games or they're at risk of falling into the bottom three. Plymouth, they're really struggling. Only one win in their last seven in the league. I'm worried about Plymouth because they lost a big game in midweek, 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday, which tightens that gap at the bottom even more. They can't really win anywhere at the moment. They were pretty good at home, but... Their home form seems to fell off a cliff and they're not good away either. So Plymouth are one to watch out for and I've got a feeling Plymouth will go down. That might be a bit of a bold shout but they don't look like picking up form anytime soon. Similar to Stoke, 
I think it, we could see Rotherham, Stoke and Plymouth down, but there's plenty to play for, plenty of time to turn around for them, but they would be my concern, Plymouth. In this one, I'm going to go Blackburn to win, 1-0. Hull take on Leicester. Now this is a big one as Leicester haven't been in great form. Only three points ahead of second place. Ipswich now and really need to get back on that winning train if they want to get automatic promotion as there's many clubs chasing them that are in good form. Hull, they've been good recently. Six unbeaten. But the first three were wins. The most recent three have been draws. They're sitting in 6th place, they do need to start winning as again sides below them are picking up points. So they're in the driving seat but they need to capitalise on the fact that they've gotten themselves into the driving seat. For this one, I think a good result for Hull would be a draw and after Leicester lost them 3 in a row, yes they beat Sunderland in midweek but Sunderland have been in awful form. I've got a feeling this will be down the middle, one all. Millwall take on Blues. It's another big fight at the bottom. Millwall, since Neil Harris has came back into management with them, three games played, two wins and a draw. The most recent was the draw and it was against Blackburn. I am slightly worried about this one. As Blues, we got a good point away at Hull in midweek with that handball goal from Hull obviously causing a bit of controversy. We scored three against Southampton, but we lost it 4-3. We're just not very good on the road in general, which is where my concern is. However, I do think we've got goals in us. I think we do have a much better squad than where we're currently sitting. Rooney just... Well, obviously, that stint with Rooney destroyed us, but I think we'll be okay, even though we're only one point above it. I'd like to be optimistic and say win, but I feel like with Millwall in decent form, and especially them beating Southampton, it's not like they're beating or you know the, the lower sides in the division. They've got some good points, so I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Norwich take on Rotherham next. Norwich lost in midweek 3-1 to Middlesbrough. Bit of a shocking result, as both teams were kind of in opposite veins of form, but... Norwich had a man sent off and that flipped the game around. Rotherham are just Rotherham. They are really, you know, they've got a chance of going down as the worst championship side ever for this season. They really just get battered every week. So for me, pick a number. I'll go for Norwich to win 3 0. Preston face Stoke next. Now Preston have got a bit of an advantage here as they didn't play in midweek. Their game was postponed against Southampton. So a little bit more of a rest period for them. Preston are in decent form as well. Seven games unbeaten, four wins and three draws. They're well in the race for the playoffs, which means at least they've got something to play for. So I fancy them to do a job here. Stoke... Not great at the moment. They lost 1-0 to Leeds in midweek. They've lost their last four away games in a row. Yes, they did beat Middlesbrough before they played Leeds, but I just maybe it's more of a hopeful perspective as, again, Stoke are another side around Blues, but I've got the feeling that Preston will get the job done here with a 2-1 win. QPR take on Middlesbrough. QPR, their brilliant form has seen them jump out of the relegation zone and they don't really look like stopping. Three wins in a row followed by a two-all draw with West Brom, a game that they really deserve to win. I mean, I think West Brom had an XG of 0.15. They had two shots on target all game and scored both. I didn't see their second, but John Mikey Johnston with another belter of a goal from outside the box... It kind of felt like everything went wrong for QPR, despite them getting a point. They dominated all, pretty much all, all the stats. They had plenty of chances. They missed the penalty. They had the handball off the line from Cedric Kipre, so they deserve to win that. But I'm glad they didn't. And I'm hoping that Middlesbrough can do something here, but I don't have much faith. Yes, Middlesbrough got a good win in midweek, a 3-1 over Norwich, but 
do I think that one last? I'm not so sure. I think it was just one of those random games where they get the win, Norwich had a man sent off, and they don't really follow it up. So I'm going to go here for QPR to win 2-0. Southampton were pretty fortunate to get a winner against Blues at the weekend in a 4-3. It was a late winner. There were some controversial calls in that game. Southampton obviously decided with the more quality, but Blues really dug in, even after having a man sent off, managed to get an equaliser. I think Blues were very unfortunate, and, and I know the Southampton commentators said Blues were very unlucky to come away with nothing. So I was very happy with our performance. Southampton got the points they needed. They didn't play midweek against Preston as the game was postponed. They've got a big advantage here. Sunderland, awful, awful form. Five losses on the bounce. They're no longer in playoff contention, and I think a, a few fans are worried about potential relegation. I know Jack Clark is out injured, I believe he still is. I think it was a six week injury or eight weeks, so he'll be out for quite a few games. Won't play this side of the international break. I think Southampton win this 2 0. Watford take on Coventry now, and the funny thing regarding this one Watford drew one all with Swansea in midweek. The Coventry technical director, I believe, was there taking a look at the game and text messages were leaked from his phone from someone behind him of him basically saying, there's plenty of gaps in this team, let's hope the manager doesn't get sacked by the time we play them and we should be fine. So that was a bit of an embarrassing moment for him. I'm sure Valerian Ishmael will now be wanting to prove him wrong and get something with Watford, but I'm not sure I see it. Coventry haven't been great as of late, but they picked up a 5-0 win against Rotherham. That should get their confidence going. Ellis Sims with another first half hat-trick after his one in the FA Cup against Mainstone. I've got a feeling Coventry will get all three points here. So I'll go for a 1-0 win. Huddersfield up against West Brom kicks off on Sunday. Huddersfield are above the relegation zone on goals scored. It's very tight down there. They are not amazing, but they don't concede many at the moment. They got a one all draw with Leeds. Brilliant result. In midweek, they lost to Cardiff. Not the best result, but... I think their key is going to be, if they can keep clean sheets, they should win enough games, because they do have the odd goal in them. Now, their opponents are doing a very good job this season, West Brom sitting in 5th place, but they're 5 points ahead of 7th place, they got a draw at the week in the week against QPR, they didn't play great. In fact, they were pretty awful. They were very lucky to get away with anything. They're just not very good on the road either. So this is a tough one. But whenever I've seen Huddersfield play, they've been pretty poor. I know they're in an okay run, but I'll go for West Brom. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and a 2-1 win. The final game is Bristol City against Swansea. Bristol City are they are in this relegation fight, I think. Four losses in a row, only six points above 22nd place and 23rd place, Stoke and Sheffield Wednesday. So they do have better goal difference. They're, they're only on minus two, but they're not they're not very in very good form. They're struggling to pick up wins, they're losing to a few teams below them, and it's making everything a bit tighter. Swansea are three unbeaten in a row, two wins and a draw. They drew with Watford in midweek. They'll come into this with a better form and they'll be high on confidence after some good results. So, I was originally going to go for a draw, but I've got a feeling Swansea may nick this 1-0. So, those are my predictions for these championship games. Only 10 games to go. We're really in the business end. The relegation battle is wide open and there's, there's probably, other than Rotherham, 
there's about 10 sides here that could realistically be relegated so it's more open than I've ever seen it as a lot of teams are on decent points I mean 38 points at this stage of the season having you in the relegation zone is you know a bit surprising for me maybe it normally happens maybe it's just quite a few more have escaped but very tight and the automatic promotion is normally done by now at least one side but there's four sides in the race that could all really finish in any of the top four spots so very very interesting to see how this weekend goes plenty of relegation battles let's hope blues can get all three points unless you're obviously a Millwall fan up the blues <laughs>